Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will study bile duct ultrasound. The main bile ducts that we will see are the hepatic ducts or intrahepatic bile ducts and the common bile duct. Here we can see the hepatic duct. It is anterior to the portal vein and is anechoic with hyperechoic walls. The right and left hepatic ducts join together to form the common hepatic duct. Then the cystic duct, which comes from the gallbladder, joins common hepatic duct to form common bile duct. Here is the CBD entering the pancreas. The hepatic duct measures less than 2 mm in diameter. The diameters of the common hepatic duct and common bile duct are variable, but a value of 7 mm has been used for normal values in recent years. And we see the hepatic artery in cross section here. After a cholecystectomy, that is gallbladder removal, the diameter will increase. After the age of 60, the diameter starts to increase by 1 mm every 10 years. Cholidocal cysts are congenital dilatations of bile ducts. The most common type is fusiform dilation. It is a type 1 cholidocal cyst. The common bile duct is dilated and it is open from both sides. This end leads to the pancreas. Here we have an image of a dilated common bile duct. The diameter will exceed 7 mm and there will be no blood flow seen on Doppler. This appearance is termed the double barrel sign. It is formed by the dilated duct which is anterior to the portal vein. Cavoli disease is also congenital. There is multifocal cystic dilatation of the intrahepatic ducts. That means these bile ducts are dilated at multiple locations. It is a type 5 cholidocal cyst. Another feature of Cavoli disease is the incomplete intraductal hyperechoic bridging septa. Here is another image of Caroli disease with cystic dilatation of intrahepatic ducts. The central dot sign is formed by a dilated bile duct surrounding the hepatic artery and portal vein. This dot is formed inside the bile duct by either the hepatic artery or portal vein. Intrahepatic biliary stones will appear hyperechoic with posterior shadowing. In this image, there are four stones within the hepatic bile ducts. In this image, we have a stone in the common bile duct. It has posterior acoustic shadowing. Merizi syndrome refers to compression of the extrahepatic bile ducts due to stones either in the cystic duct or the gallbladder. Here we can see a stone in the cystic duct causing obstruction and also compressing the common hepatic duct. This led to dilated hepatic bile ducts. Hemobilia refers to blood clots in bile ducts. Usually it occurs after a biopsy in this area. It can also occur due to surgery, malignancy, cholecystitis, or any biliary trauma. Solid echoes will be seen in the bile ducts. The blood clots may be seen floating and moving in the bile duct. In acute hemorrhage, the bleeding is fresh and it may appear hypoechoic because the blood hasn't clotted yet. Blood may also be seen in the gallbladder. 
In Nemobilia, air is found in the bile ducts. They are seen as hyperechoic linear structures with posterior dirty shadowing. You will see a grayish shadow along with a ring down artifact. Cholangitis is the inflammation of the bile ducts. In acute cholangitis, which is also called ascending cholangitis, the common bile duct is dilated and the bile duct walls are also thickened. In this image, we can see a stone in the bile duct with posterior shadowing causing inflammation. The bile duct is dilated. Here we can see thickened walls of the bile duct. In normal wall thickness, these echoes are not seen, but in thicker walls, we can see them inside the bile duct. Recurrent pyogenic cholangitis is a disease in which there are dilated bile ducts filled with stones and sludge. The stones will often have shadowing, but smaller stones may not have shadowing. It occurs in the setting of a bacterial biliary tract infection. In primary sclerosing cholangitis, there is irregular bile duct wall thickening and narrowing of the bile duct lumen. At this point, there is more wall thickening as compared to this area, so it is irregular. Ascariasis is a type of roundworm infection. These parasitic worms can enter the bile ducts through ampulla of water in duodenum. The worm will appear as a tube-shaped structure in the bile duct or as parallel hyperechoic lines. If it is seen moving, it can be very helpful in diagnosis. HIV cholangiopathy or AIDS cholangiopathy is seen in AIDS patients. Hyperechoic tissue is seen around the bile ducts. The bile duct walls are irregular and also there is irregular bile duct wall narrowing. Cholangiocarcinoma refers to bile duct cancer. The first type is intraductal cholangiocarcinoma. A mass is seen in the bile duct. It can either be isoechoic or hyperechoic to liver. Bile duct is obstructed as well. Intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma is the second type. It can come under liver cancers as well. There is a large heterogeneous mass involving both the bile duct and the liver. Hyler cholangiocarcinoma is also called clad skin tumor. It is found in the hyler region of the liver as well as around common hepatic duct bifurcation. The mass is mostly hyperechoic but can sometimes be hypoechoic or isoechoic. In this image we can see both the right and left hepatic ducts but they are not continuing to form the common hepatic duct because the mass has occupied this region. This is called non-union of right and left hepatic ducts and this feature is helpful in diagnosing Hyler cholangiocarcinoma. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.